Today we're going to talk about buying car seats on the used market. Now buying a car seat on the used market is uh, a little bit more complicated than uh, buying a stroller on the used market. Uh, the reason for that being that there are more things that one ought to be aware of uh, when they're buying a used car seat. Uh, simply because it is meant as a safety buffer while you're inside an auto vehicle, uh, which is a dangerous place just by nature. So uh, you do want to check a number of things. Uh, first off, it's best to buy it off somebody you trust, uh, if possible, of course. Uh, you should, to some extent, try to find out the history of the seats just to make sure that it hasn't been in any uh, auto accidents. Um, manufacturers say that a car seat should no longer be used. It should be thrown away if it's been in any auto accidents. So. Uh, that's just something to be aware of in any case. When you are checking over the seat, uh, you do want to check all of the straps, that they aren't frayed, and you want to try to adjust the straps uh, so that you know that the internal uh, locking mechanisms function as far as holding the straps tight. So you do want to give that a good test. Uh, it's also a good idea to have a little bit of background knowledge on whichever seat it is you intend to purchase so that you can make sure all of the various elements are in place, that there's nothing missing. Uh, when there are missing parts, it of course isn't going to be uh, fulfilling the safety standards for which it was intended. Um, beyond that, the inside of seats under the fabric uh, does tend to be styrofoam. And um, you don't want to break this while you're of course checking it uh, during a purchase, but uh, you do want to test it a little bit. Just give it a, a good light um, feel around. And if you have a car seat where it's relatively easy, to uh, pull up the fabric. You can actually do that as well. Uh, Maxi Cousy is a brand, for example, where it's pretty easy to pull it up. And then you can have a look at the uh, styrofoam. Here you can actually see there's a sticker that says do not remove. This is in order to ensure the safety of the styrofoam that it hasn't been replaced uh, in an improper manner. So check that around. Um, car seats, actually a lot of manufacturers put an expiration date on the car seat. So unlike strollers, they do expire. Um, there are several reasons for this. Uh, one I've heard is simply the plastics, that plastic gets brittle over time, but I believe it has a little bit more to do with uh, safety regulations changing over time. And you gotta realize that car seats do not exist in a vacuum. So when uh, changes in safety standards or the general design of uh, auto vehicles changes, the safety standards on car seats uh, change as well. Just think about uh, airbags, how cars are all fitted with airbags now. That certainly had a lot of implications for uh, what is acceptable in terms of safety for um, car seats. So when you're looking at uh, the potential car seat you want to buy, you can flip it over and you can look at the stickers. Now, don't be fooled. Uh, most uh, car seats will have a sticker with a date on it that is not the production date, but actually the date at which the model came onto the market. Uh, this sticker, for example, on this one, even though it doesn't say it, this is the production date. Uh, it would be uh, November 2010. And uh, whatever car seat you're planning on buying, you might want to have a little uh, look on Google as to how the sticker is going to be laid out. So in this country, in Norway, they recommend that you don't uh, purchase a car seat that is older than five years. Um, uh, that's of course up to you, but that's what they generally consider to be safe. Uh, but you do want to have a look at the production date and have some sort of idea in your head as to how old the car seat can be before uh, it's no longer relevant in relation to safety standards and think about how long you will be using the car seat. So for example, this car seat is uh, for up to 14 kilos, nine months old. So uh, if this car seat is still going to be good, quote unquote, uh, for another year, then, uh, then it's not a bad idea to purchase it because I would be using it for about a year. If you are, however, purchasing one of the larger car seats that you're gonna use for two or three years, so like for older children, then of course it should be newer because uh, it should last longer before that quote unquote expiration date will expire. So these are a few things you might wanna look over or think about when you are purchasing a car seat on the used market. We hope this video has been useful to you. And if it has, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.